Okay, so on this problem, we need to simplify the fractions. Uh, the first thing we should do is factor everything and put, every, put everything together, right? Multiplication just means multiply across the top. So really, we really just have, it's all multiplied together in the numerator and all multiplied together in the denominator. So we factor x squared minus 36 first. That's an easy factorization. That's the difference of two squares. x minus 6 times x plus 6. Then we need to try to factor this. And so I'm going to put in my two parentheses. So that's going to give me 2x and x. And that's the only way to get 2x squared. Now I've got to think about how to get 12. But when I get 12, I've got to get it such that I have a negative here. So that means I'm going to need a negative and a negative. That's the only way to get a positive 12 and a negative 11. And so my options are 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. But I need to get a negative 11. And if I put the 3 and the 4 in, so for instance, if I put a 3 here and a 4 here, that's going to give me negative 3x, right? Multiply those two together. And then a negative 8x, which added together gives me a negative 11x. So I, put, I made a good guess to start with. If that wouldn't have worked, I, should, I would have switched the 3 and the 4, and then maybe tried the 2 and the 6 or the 1 and the 12. But you need to, you need to be able to go through and factor those. Okay, on the bottom, well, this is also a difference of two squares, and so it's going to be 2x minus 3, 2x plus 3. So that one was easily factored. Now this guy I need to factor, and I need to do x times x to get the x squared. And then to get 24, I just need, I'm going to have to have a negative and a negative because I need a negative 10x. And since I've got just x's here, this is an easy one, right? The factor of the 24 are 24 times 1, 12 times 2, what, uh, 8 times 3, 6 times 4. And you think about if they're both going to be negative, then they have to add to negative 10. Well, that's going to be 6 and 4. 6 and 4 are going to add to negative 10. So you have factored all, everything you can factor. Now we've got to cancel out things that they have in common. Well, you've got an x minus 6 on the top and an x minus 6 on the bottom. You've got a 2x minus 3 on the top, a 2x minus 3 on the bottom, and an x minus 4 on top, and an x minus 4 on the bottom. So you're left with x plus 6 over 2x plus 3. And that's your simplified answer.